Come on, tell your friends, share the link. Here we go. It is time. What's it time for? Don went to get a pen. He's back. He's hey, everybody. Back. Hey, everybody. You know, it's time for. Hey. It's time. We have not been together. It's sunset with Dan and Sandy. Hey. <laughs> We are live in the studio. We'll give you a couple of seconds. We have not been in here in we have not. maybe six weeks. Maybe six weeks. Yep. Uh, Together. Down this other note. You've been here. Mm -hmm. I've been in Indiana. So let us know that you're on. Yes. Um, we love seeing the... Okay, let's just make sure we're on. I'm not seeing, you know, the little thing that... Okay. We got yeah, in life. Go Yay. Back mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here okay. We are. Hey. Hey. All right. Blended women of hand. I'm putting that. That's what I want to make. Grab me. your cup of coffee. Well, maybe not this late. Yeah. Maybe not. <laughs> maybe. Don't ask us how we know maybe, that. Trust us that we do. Maybe not. I need to turn that around when I'm drinking this way. Yeah. So folks can see Cindy, but I'm covering Dan. Hmm. All right. Well, what? I think, are, are they on? I think, I think we're, we're on. on. Everybody, we're on. Okay, let's hit it. Hi. Welcome to officially. It's Sunsets with Dan and Sandy. Yay. All right. And my bobbleheads right there in the background. That's exactly right. And the cardinal <laughs> and the piano. Yeah. That is lean, lean to your left again. Or okay. your other, uh, your uh, actually, left. come to the right. Actually, come to the right. Yes. There, it is a keyboard over there. That is a keyboard. It is. It is a piano laying on its side. And yes. some wonderful friends. And now friends. it is a bookshelf. It is a bookshelf. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. So, yeah. but we are together live. We, are we don't even know what to do. Oklahoma City. Coming at you. 6.30 Central, 7.30 Eastern, 8.30, you know, in the Bahamas, 5.30 <laughs> out in the Pacific. And tomorrow it is still in Australia. That's exactly oh, right. Oh, you said it different. I did. You did. Well, welcome everybody. Tell we, them where to uh, find us. You can find me on social media all week long, uh, right here on Facebook, Sandy Patty. You can find me on Instagram, Sandy Patty P, because apparently someone had already taken Sandy Patty, so I had to add the P for pesticides. Unbelievable. Which is fun. Um, and Twitter on uh, Sandy Patty P. You can also find me on my YouTube channel, Sandy Patty. Thomas is going to post, post all that, and Thomas is also with us online, yes. so give some love to Thomas as he's posting all things now. Where can we find you? Well, it's easy. Don, D-O-N-P-E-S-L-I-S, -S, both Instagram, Facebook, and uh, typically you can find Sandy talking about me somewhere on her channels, but <laughs> it's easy to find. We're trying to post now. We, we thank you for being with us through the 40 days that really took us to Easter. We yeah. really hit the ground running with mom and dad, and we'll catch up on that with Nana and Papa. And uh, really throughout Easter and the week right after Easter, we found ourselves there. But thank you for joining us for the 40 days leading up. Uh, many of you went to crossings, uh, easter.crossings.church and joined us for our devotions. And now we find ourselves in the 50 days leading to Pentecost Yeah. in the life of the church. Yeah, and you're going to talk about that in a little we bit, will. right? Yes, but let's go ahead and jump in. Well, uh, people always ask, so we're always answer because we ahead. always yes. have new people Do joining that. in. Okay, Cindy. Uh, during the pandemic, um, I look crooked. Do I look crooked? No, you're not crooked. I'm sorry. I just, I'm looking crooked. I shouldn't even look at the screen anyway. No, um, you look great. During the pandemic, you know, all of us boomers, Yes. which I found out we also have another name for our uh, generation. Let's get to that. That might um, be your tech All tip. of us boomers had to find technology mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. communicate with our families. Mm -hmm. So um, we, we started this crazy little show basically to tell people about our journey with COVID and then how to stay connected and how you can use your technology wisely. Then we also found out that same year in the Almanac, it said that the buzzword was not retirees, pre-tirees. That's right. And so we like to think of ourselves as pre-tirees. We're at retirement age, right. but we still love being busy and we still love doing stuff. That's right. And so we we have our names, our pre-tiree names. We know full well we're Don and Sandy. <clears throat> our pre-tiree names are Dan and Cindy. That's and right. that was born out of a skit a number of years ago we did at church. <laughs> he said something snarky. He said, would you say that for Dan? He said, I don't know, Cindy. And there, there it is. So put your 
uh, pre-tiree names there. And also let us know where yes. you're tuning in. We love knowing that. We have people everywhere, all over the globe, really, really who really tune do. in. Philippines, each and every France. You can hit that share button and it will tell, it will alert people who follow you on social media that um, you can join us right now. So We're that's it. Up, that's I what I got. On two years. Really? This is just No, I think it two is. Years. Two years. Let's give it just, that might be just I a little bit it, of a... It's a shout out. It's been about two years. It has. Coming up about this time that we really got started. Yes. And we could go back and review. You know what? We it should would be do, good to do. You we, know what? And we've got of, the cards from all the whole thing. <laughs> exactly. We have a plethora. <laughs> I think you should get, you know, get the little, like, holes in a hole punch. Yes, and put them all in together. In like a two you know what? round I, spiral and thing and, and just I'll put do them that. in order. I will do that. That would be it's a great cool. idea. Well, go ahead. You know what? You've been Those of you that have been following us know that it has been a journey. Quite a trek. These really two months, uh, honestly, middle of March, April, up till now, for us to be together with Non and Papa. And so do you want to talk, well, before we get to that, yeah. let's talk about some dates that are coming up. Uh, let's talk about... Yes. Which, excuse me, we've got something coming up, this, two things, mm -hmm. this very next week. Why Tuesday, so Tuesday night. Right, May 3rd. Uh, May 3rd. I am part of a Blended and Blessed event with just women, for mm -hmm. women. Mm -hmm. So myself and several other uh, women, we are going to be live together. Fantastic. And um, a lot of the people have already submitted questions, and we oh, chatted Great. a little bit. Uh, the other day uh, on a on the, the Zoom, mm -hmm. but we didn't chat too long because I, we wanted our answers to be super fresh. Very cool. And we wanted we we so if you find yourself, you or anyone can join certainly. But we we're really gearing this to mm -hmm. women. Good. And women who are step moms, women who maybe had been a step daughter as well mm -hmm. or a step grandma mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um just what are those unique things about blended families and let's talk about it and i love family life so much because they're saying let's put this conversation on the front lines so thomas is going to point uh, post a link Excellent. it does not cost anything um you can just join in on the conversation and so that is this Tuesday night, May, May 3rd. The 3rd. May 3rd. Are we already in May? This is tomorrow is May 1st. Oh, so my goodness May 3rd, mm -hmm. blended uh, women, blended families, but specifically women. Yeah. Then tell them about coming up next Friday, next May, Saturday, sorry, actually. May 7th. You're mm -hmm. exactly right. May 7th, mm -hmm. uh, Cindy's going to be in concert with... Michael Feinstein. Why don't I tell him a little bit about Would this? Would you? Because I'm uh, so excited. If you love, we'll let her, I'll give you a little bit of the play-by-play -play and let Sandy finish. But if you love great I'm Gershwin. Sorry, these glasses yeah, they're, are... Yeah, I think they're they're a little crooked, okay. but it's okay. All right. Well, I'm let's just finish with them. with them. Yes. <laughs> Gershwin music. Michael yeah. Feinstein mm -hmm. is probably the leading uh, curator, if uh -huh. you will, and performer. Curator, educator, educator, and performer. Performer on Gershwin mm -hmm really that era of music. Mm -hmm. And so Sandy will be joining him in, in the, uh, what's the, the it's it's formerly known it's, as the Palladium the, in, it was, in Indianapolis. It, when it was first built, it was called the Palladium yes. in Carmel, Indiana. Now yes. it's called the Center for Performing Arts. Okay, and, and tickets Carmel, are available? Yes, and Thomas is going to post that. I think tickets are going really fast. So Michael is on, he is the artist in residence okay. of that venue. Wonderful, I didn't and know that. So, he comes and does concerts there very frequently Great. and has a special guest. Love so it. he asked me for this week to be Great. special guest. So he's going to be in the tux, you know. And, oh, as always. And uh, so I get to pull out one of my Yuletide gowns and wear it. <laughs> um, it's going to be so, so fun. And I get to do some of the Pops things very that fun. I don't always get to do. Well, so. and let's say this. Pops, if you've seen, uh, I always say Cindy, but yeah. Cindy, in the <laughs> symphony world, it really is a great chance for her to pull some of that repertoire out. So yeah. if you've loved, you wanted to catch a symphony so show, you're anywhere in that Midwest around Indianapolis this coming Saturday. What time is it? Saturday. It's at 7.30. 7, 7 7.30. But the link will have all of yeah. that information. It's great. just fun to dress up and great. sing some great classics. Uh, Michael will do some stuff in the first half and great. I'll do some stuff up in the second half and then he and I are going to sing together because he's a wonderful pianist yes. and he always teases me and he says this every time so I'm going to tease him back he always says you know what because he's Jewish 
Yes. He says, you know, us Jewish people love Sandy Patty. <laughs> and I say right back, you know what? Us Christians love Michael Fenton. I love it. I love it. <laughs> All right. So again, this coming Saturday, May 7th, uh, at the uh, Performing Arts Center mm -hmm. in Carmel, formerly yeah. known as Palladium, Michael yeah. Feinstein, Sandy Patty. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm excited. And then, May, right. then May 3rd, this Tuesday, this the Tuesday. conversation for blended blended families, especially especially for women. All right. Almanac All us. All right. It's that <laughs> time. Almanac moment with Dan. Oh, All right. so fun. <laughs> Thank you, Todd, from Las Vegas <laughs> Voices again for these fabulous. I guess that, well, that's a... It's a shower. To Todd. Again to Todd oh, and the Las Voices Vegas of Las right. Vegas. Put these, uh, and we actually need a few new uh, uh, jingles, so we'll put that word out there, Todd, if you're watching. But thank you for these jingles. They're so fantastic. But since 1792, mm, it's been, I know it, it's been your day, and welcome to Saturday, April 30th, 2022. I now, not I know it. We're going to be, that. tomorrow is May 1st, and the, it is flying by. Uh, now, this is interesting. We often, the question of the day is, we often hear brinkmanship. Does this mean diplomacy to the brink of war or sanctions? Oh. Brinks, hmm. Brinkmanship, I right? I don't know. Tell us, Dan. Well, brinksmanship was a term used by Adlai Stevenson in the 1950s in his criticism of the policies of then Secretary of State John Foster Dulles. Huh. As Stevenson believed Dulles' methods would lead the U.S., to the brink of war. Interesting. The word is still used, brinksmanship. Brinksmanship. To the brinks of war. And All so right. when, what year was that? 1951. Thank okay. you. Thank you, Almanac. That's an Almanac. Uh, it's almanac. an Almanac moment with Dan. Now, advice of the day. Uh, oh. Few, <gasps> this, this is, this is a, new it's a new little Almanac thing, So Dan. listen to me. If you listen will go to, to almanac.com, mm -hmm. oldfarmersalmanac.com, it gives mm -hmm. you the day of the year, and it gives you some of these. It gives you... Well, let me see what the advice of the, of the day is. Okay, go ahead. Tell them, Cindy. Okay, I, don't, I haven't even read this before. Add a few tablespoons of vinegar to dishwasher, dishwater to cut grease and leave dishes sparkling. I know. <gasps> see? Thank well, you. That's thank a you. good hint. And here's the home hint of the day. Okay, now this is for you folks a little bit more... <laughs> Well, you'll know what I mean. If you reuse old timbers, it's been a while since oh. Sandy and I have reused old timbers. <laughs> you know. But Damn. hammer nails and spikes back <laughs> through the timbers, then pull them out with a wrecking bar. To save time switching between tools, convert them two into one. Cut the end off a hammer with a power hacksaw and then <laughs> weld it to the wrecking bar. You heard that here. You Montana. know you know who's the only one that will understand that is Brenda Warner. Brenda Warner. Because she welds maybe, her butt off. Maybe Will Gerald. Will Gerald. Maybe Langan. Will okay. Gerald. Okay. Yes. Now, the word of the day, here we are in Almanac. This the is good. You want to go with this? I'd love to hear you read this. This is oh, the word of the this day. This is the word of <gasps> what? Yes. We call our we've called our kids these we have. this word sometimes. We have. Stink pot. Okay. Let's hear that again, Sandy. Stink pot. Thank you. Go ahead. Tell An us. earthen jar charged with powder, grenades, and other materials of an offensive and suffocating smell, sometimes used in boarding an enemy's vessel. Well, folks, if you're planning on boarding Stink any pot. enemy vessels, just well, remember... I think I per clearly we use that out of context. You heard it here, Dad. you little stink pot. You, <laughs> <laughs> you All just... Right. Just get your welding it's and done. timbers. Welding and timbers and hacksaws. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, boy. Since 1792. And remember, 1792. And we also have this for the kids. What a kids. Get them for your grandkids out there, grandparents, parents. The Kids Almanac is its eighth edition. This is That's awesome. It's fantastic, and uh, you're going to love that, too. All right, Cindy. All right. Well, listen. I just got a text from my dad right before we went uh, a live, uh, live. live, okay, come on. And he said, because he they always watch, yes. you know, so they're watching. So that give, is a give shout some out. Love. It that, is a okay, shout out. Wait a second. It's a shout out to Papa and Nana, All Ron right. and Carolyn, Patty. Uh, my dad said, please tell your audience how much their blessings of words and otherwise have meant to them. They've read every single comment. They have graciously received um, your blessings in encouraging words, in some financial dollars, in some things that people came and bought at yes. their estate sale. Which you were live with us last week. So 
Uh, he said, please, please tell them that it just, we have been touched so deeply and thank them so very much. So, Well, it is a little bit about we want to do thank you uh, viewers out there and all of our friends and family, not fans, but friends and family yeah. of Sandy, Patty, Papa, and Nana. We really want to give a few shout outs. Again, it is a shout out, a shout -out. to... Sean, Dela, Foster, and the entire, mm -hmm. his father, Chuck, yep. uh, his uh, Pat, Pat mother-in-law, the entire, we've got Marilinda. Josh, Emma, the Foster family mm -hmm. has been, and again, uh, Sean Foster is the president and CEO of Canizo, so that's one of the reasons we share, and he really uh, made most of his work, working career in senior health care, mm -hmm. but not just senior health care, where it was plussed. White glove treatment. Okay. I'm sorry, I can't do the just, glasses. Okay, the glasses. I, can't, it's okay I can't you do got it. great eyes. <laughs> but um, Sean and Dela were with yeah. us every step of the way. We want to thank the Foster family. Yeah. Uh, who else will we get? Some we shout want outs? to thank Paul and Bev Tunnel. Yes, my aunt and uncle. My uncle Paul is my mom's little brother, and I tell you what, he has he has the best hugs. Mm. Not to mention strategy. Yes. And I think yes. a few weeks ago we gave a tip. Yes. That Aunt Bev. Yes. If you're moving into a new space. Yes. So she got like just the linen, um, the lint, not linen, the, the cloth, tablecloths. Okay. And okay. then she cut out the size of a piece of furniture. Okay. And then we'd go to the assisted living and lay that down, make sure it all, that is just such a great tech tip and came in very, very handy. So we thank them, of course. We thank um, my brother Craig yes. and his family. And Sandra and family. And so many people that just stopped by and loved on my parents. None of us in the Patty family are mourning people. Right. Let me just say that <laughs> again. None of us are naturally mourning people. That's all those years on the road traveling. I think so. But you know what? My parents were there at 8.05 and they greeted every single person so nice. who came. My mom had stories. My dad loved to share thoughts and how does this work and what kind of, you know. Sure. It really just turned out to be such a sweet, sweet day. And I think that kind of is leading us into the transition conversation. Yes, yes. And I guess the one thing that I want to say to my parents is I so appreciated them just saying, okay, mm -hmm. here's where we're at. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to jump on for the ride mm -hmm. and be a blessing where we can and yes. receive blessings as we can. And I think that's one reason why it was a sweet day yes. on their estate sale. And so I think, I think, uh, start really having conversations. It was a culmination of that. You it know? was very, very much. And, um, so well, I know, again, let's move into choosing the, the right number one, again, yeah. looking back, Sandy, yeah. as you've gone through this, we've gone through this together. Again, this will be a little bit of a review for you. We'll put and post, uh, again, yeah. the link for this, because we do want to give a shout out to Spartansburg, South Carolina's, mm -hmm. one of their premier, uh, luxury assisted living facilities mm -hmm. at Summit Hills, Spartansburg, South Carolina. Yeah. But they give us a few ideas and things we want to, again, choosing the right community. How important was that? Yeah, very important. And I'm going to, I'm going to back up and say one thing before yes. we say this is yes. have the conversations mm -hmm. before you need to have the conversations. It's mm -hmm. good. My That's dad, good. as, as, as we were beginning conversations which we thought we were beginning them. Yes. My dad said, we've had all of this information ready to talk to you for 10 years. Wow. So somebody just jump in and yeah. have and start the conversation. So it's really better if we could sum that up. It's better to have these conversations and really contemplate the move mm -hmm. before you have to. Yeah. And so we feel great about the, the right facility. We do. Say? And that goes with, and so I kind of wrote Go. like yes. my four or five, but it goes with Go. this. Talk to your parents. Yes. Ask them what are their wishes. Mm -hmm. um, That's good. Here are all the options: yes. Oklahoma, right, which we talked Indianapolis. about. Indianapolis. Yes. 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 Um, but they chose mm -hmm. Indiana. Yes. And chose a facility that is just they bowl. I was there one day, and mm -hmm. there was bowling going on upstairs, fantastic. and it was so loud. Those people were. It was so fun. Yes. So. You there's know, lots of there's lots of activities. Meals are provided. Yes. But 
ask your parents. Tell us what you want. And that also goes not only to the facility. Yes. But what are things that are important to you? Mm-hmm. Like where where the parents are at their apartment. Yes. There's a beautiful lake and a walking path. Mm-hmm. That's important to my dad. Yes. So he's working his way around that lake now, and he's going to have it mastered. I love but it. to be outside, um, yes. to be be near their doctors, that yes. was important. That was key. That was their world. To you know? be able to still be near some mm-hmm. family, mm-hmm. knowing that we get there really often. often. Really, you're going to be there months. Uh, now. But but talk to them, and then go and narrow down. Yeah. Yeah. Facilities. Then yes. go visit. Yes. And, and go and get the vibe. Yes. Don't just talk to the staff, but talk yes. to the, the people who are there. Yes. Um, my parents have several friends who, were, who have you know, transitioned into this mm-hmm. season. Mm-hmm. So they've been able to use them as a resource and mm-hmm. to say, tell us what you think. Is the food good? Because you know that's always the number one question. It, that's right. And all reports are the food is Fantastic. great. Well, so we Cindy, think you really that. hit one, two, and three. Yeah. Uh, you know, after choosing the community, making that visit, which we did, yeah. looking back now, this is a little bit of a retrospect. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know what? You really, for better lack of, of times, uh, Cindy was up there two months. She was really up there March and April. How did you pack efficiently, deliberately? Yeah. Did you give give a little bit of tips? I, I know Aunt Bev was part of that, oh, but did man. you have a daily strategy, uh, an overarching strategy, and then work at it daily. Give just a little insight yeah. on that. Yeah, so I think the one thing that felt important to me as their daughter, and again, I talked about it with mm-hmm, my mm-hmm, parents, mm-hmm. but I wanted to get them settled mm-hmm. in their new place mm-hmm. first. Yes. So the first conversations were, what are we taking? Mm-hmm. And what might a few things go in storage? Mm-hmm. And you know the things that really matter to them? Mm-hmm. Pictures. Yes. Memories. Yes. Pictures. Yes. yes. Anything that had to do with, with memories. Yes. Pictures and um, this couple beautiful antique there were things several that antiques. my mom yes. has. And but the, it was the story behind those things. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. it's not the things really that matter, but it's the story and it's the memory. So it's like, what do we want to take? That's and good. then we got Aunt Bev's stuff and said, okay, yeah. this will fit. This right. probably is not going to fit. That's right. Logistics. So you have to choose one or the other. Yes. So so then we were able to move them yes. to the new place yes. first. Yes. And then I was able to spend the days and they'd pop in and, you know, yes. and just kind of go room to room and mm-hmm. say, mm-hmm. goodwill, gift it, sell it. Yeah. Um, estate sale. Mm-hmm. You know, and so my mom, I love this. So she said, everything is for sale, but Papa. <laughs> there you have it. All right. I think that might be a little bit of a <laughs> for Papa. But, but, but know, they yeah. were part of the process. And I guess that's what I want to say. Yes. Now, I tried to, I said, do you care if I do a first swipe? through this room Mm -hmm. once they were in their new place and settled. Mm -hmm. And then I would bring them boxes every day. Okay, now you go through this, keep what you want. And so we we did have a plan kind of in that way and just went one room to the next. Well, it's not just stuff too. And we talked about memories, that was really key. Memories, context, all of that. But you have to allow, this is a big point, allow time for the emotional transition. How? And we're probably still a little bit in that. And that may be a little tender, but, you know, you have to allow time for the emotional transition, don't you? You do. I want to say I'm so proud of my parents. Um, it didn't really hit me yeah. until you and I left that last day. Yeah, yeah. And we left the garage door opener and the keys. And yes. Not that... Not that if you have some grief about the transition, that doesn't mean it's the wrong decision, right, though. Right. Um, I think they are there in this fabulous community. Yes. And they can be as involved or That's right. not, whatever they want, but exactly. they have their own space. My mom says, she goes, now we have this two story, like 10,000 square foot home. Right. And then we just go to our sitting area. See, that's, 
<laughs> so, so well said. So well said. Well, you know but what? But I am. I'm so proud yeah. of them. Yes. Because it's hard. I think it's hard. And the last thing that I, Go ahead. I guess I want to say is have honest conversations mm. about where you're at. Um, my parents are 89. Right. But nothing in me thinks they're 89. Or do they feel 89? Or right. do they feel 89? Right. But you know what? They're 89. Right. Or they will be in July. Yeah, yeah. They're 89. And there's just some life stuff that happens when you're 89. Right. And so I think having honest conversations with your physicians, yeah. with your family, if you can. I know some families can't. Um, and so I so appreciate that the door has been open yes. with my parents. Yes. I'm going to add one thing. So I yeah. went to the pool today. Go, go. I'm at the YMCA. Yes. I haven't been to that pool for two months. And I just thought, that's one thing I can't yes, do. Yes, that's right. So I went to the pool. I went at a different time than I normally do. Okay. There's a lazy river in the pool. Oh, They call yes. it a lazy river. Except for this particular time slot, they call it the vortex. I love Because it. you walk backwards. Yes. So I'm walking in. Against the current. Against the current. I'm walking in. This lady says, are you going into the water walking? I said, yeah, but I've never been here before. She said, yeah, I haven't either. I could tell we were about the same age. And I, I said, I just haven't been to my pool. I've been in Indiana helping my parents transit. She goes, oh, that's why I'm in Oklahoma City. I'm helping my parents oh. transition. So for 30 minutes, me and I didn't get her permission, so I won't say her name. Yes, that's okay. Me and my new friend walked forwards. And then we walked backwards against the vortex, <laughs> talking about how blessed we are with our parents. Good. It it's was good. just so sweet. So I, I told her to tune in. She's going to watch. But I, I didn't get your permission to say your name. So but I we will next time. <laughs> well, in closing uh, this segment, it you know what? Um, it wasn't related to this, but it was in a um, C.S. Lewis uh, and I'm not sure what I was watching. I got to remember why they quoted this from C.S. Lewis. Mm -hmm. But life is lived forward, but it's understood looking back, backwards. Life is lived looking forward. That's good. But it's understood looking backwards. Yep. And so we've really, for, this may be repetitive for you out there, but for you boomers and folks that are involved, we want to be a resource for you, yeah. not just in blended families, yeah. not just musically, not just sing, but this is kind of the real life. This is yeah. beyond Sandy, Patty, and Don. This is Dan and Cindy. This is our <laughs> real life. And remember, in, in putting a bow around it, it's not a sprint. Yeah. It's a marathon. Yeah. And move, move, and we're still in the midst of it. Yeah. We're still unpacking emotions and feelings, and it's not just stuff. There's so much to it. But we'll keep you posted as we continue to move along through this but again, I want to thank Summit Hills of Spartansburg, yeah. South Carolina, for this timely, uh, mm -hmm. timely uh, pick list, if you will, yeah. to say checklist. here checklist. Here are some things to think about in preparation, in doing it, and it's really a wonderful metric for us, mm -hmm. rubric, if you will. That's the word yeah. I was looking for, education. Rubric. To That's look good. back and say, how do we do? So, all right. Well, I want to add. Go ahead, I want to put one more. Uh, website of ahead, information yes. on here and it is yes. the area agency on aging so any uh any area where you live yes there is a there's a certain life stream was who we worked with in right. our county in yes. in indiana yes life stream is not everywhere right so the area agency on aging is the first stop shop good to say okay let me get some information let me find out what is available in my right. area so yeah. don't forget that and i and we were talking about the boomers but we're also called the sandwich generation this is really good tell us so tell us Andy, we're, the sandwich. we are privileged to still have our parents yes. we're the first generation in a long time whose parents are living longer than their parents did yes while at the same time we're also taking care of or Somehow the investing the in the life of our kids and parents. their kids. <laughs> um, and so, interestingly enough, the boomers are also called the sandwich generation. I think that might be a shout out. Okay, that is a, a shout out. Boomers and sandwiches. Well, that does make me hungry. I've got, someone's got some bolognese fix. I do have She's bolognese. Got bolognese. I made it yesterday and cooked it all it's day. And it's even better. Hey, Easter was amazing. You know. And one of the things I think people 
don't realize if you right. don't follow the church calendar because right. Easter's not over right. in just that weekend. Right. So um, you wrote a blog for the church and just unpack that a little well, bit because I found it really awesome. We're running out of time, but I want to leave this can kind of move from that was our Canizo moment really with seniors and our assisted living to the crossings. Again, crossings.church slash info uh, for all things crossings. But it was really, Cindy, a great Easter. And I felt like this year with our 40-day devotions, mm -hmm. I was able to, what we say, inhabit Easter. Yeah. And Easter is both a day like Christmas and a season. But we just don't have that catchy on the first day of Easter. No. My true love gave to me. His life so that I could be set free. Oh, that was really good. You're welcome. My Lord gave to me. There it is. <laughs> we may come up with the 12 days of Easter. There's nothing else. That's a mic drop. That, That's it. That That's was really story. good. But uh, this little devotion, and I think Thomas is going to post the link for you. It was also my Instagram post today. If you go to Instagram, Don Teslas, you'll see that. But it's a way for us to really let that, uh, what I wrote, the exhilarating shock, just the, mm. the awesomeness of the resurrection, but last the season. And there yeah. are ways to do that. And it's called Eastertide. Eastertide, Eastertide. like Christmastide. Mm -hmm. But you know what? It, since Lent is really a season of yeah. fasting, why not make Easter the seven Sundays that lead up to the Pentecost? Mm -hmm. So there are 50 days of feasting. Shouldn't the feasting outlast the fasting? Oh, that's good. Right, right. So maybe after Always. church, maybe <laughs> after church, allow yourself in Easter to have a few of those culinary delights. Maybe go to a few extra special things. Maybe make it a thing to eat with your family after church on Sundays. But there are also uh, in my article some really fun things like sitting outside just in the sun as the days are getting longer. Back to the almanac, moving towards that summer solstice, planting something that you'll provide maybe a, gar a gardening later, adding color to your living spaces, maybe some beautiful flowers, or maybe the lilies that you got Easter are still going. Mm -hmm. But there are lots of ways, especially now, the outdoors, the weather is so beautiful, to make Easter last a little bit longer and inhabit that, as you will, mm -hmm. throughout really May till Pentecost, which comes to us on June 5th this year. But jump on that website. Thomas is gonna put that, just some simple ways for us to inhabit Easter. And speaking okay. of that, tomorrow again with crossings, uh, I'm not sure what service Cindy will be in. I'm not serving in any service, so, so I can take my pick. She's gonna be floating tomorrow, but again at 9.30 and 11 Central, you can jump on crossings.church and you can see either the venue or the sanctuary, both live. And eventually we're working on getting the chapel yes. to you, which would be great to be able to say, join, join Dan and Cindy at 8.30 yeah. Central. But again, Crossings, we're so grateful as Sandy is an artist in residence there and I'm the chapel worship pastor. We're so grateful for Marty Grubbs. And we're in a great series about fear. Yeah. And it really coincides with the those disciples, the early, those 50 days, Ooh. how they dealt with fear and how the Lord brought them through and prepared them for Pentecost, which really launched the expansion of the church worldwide. Yeah. So the title of his sermon series is Fearless. Mm. And I think you'll enjoy that. So tune in with us. Many of you do all over the world. Crossings.church for that. But I've got a prayer for us this, this evening that talks about inhabiting Easter. So I'll close with that as we're already a little bit over. We had a lot to talk about. We did, but let's pray together. Almighty God, who through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, overcame death and opened to us the way of everlasting life. Grant that we might fully inhabit mm. and celebrate this season of our Lord's resurrection. May we feel all the life, power, love, triumph, and transformation mm. this season offers. Yeah. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Mm -hmm. Well, have Thanks, a great everybody. week. Have a great week. I'll be in... Carmel, Indiana, which is Indianapolis, next Saturday. Yes. But we'll figure out how to we'll do figure this same it out. time. And um, <laughs> come see us if you come show. Tell them Dan and Cindy sent you and look forward to it. But we will somehow, some way, come to you next week, same time. 6.30 Central, 7.30 Eastern, 8.30 out in the Caribbean, way back in Cali, <laughs> 5.30 Pacific, but in Australia. Tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. See you next week.